Sustainable Kingsbury. A presentation by Anisha. Pra. Ravinda. Janaid. Sustainable living. Firstly, what is sustainability? The word itself has many meanings. Hmm. Support, endure, and maintain. Commonly means maintaining the earth we live in. The main target is to act responsibly so that the resources on the planet will be able to support many generations in the future. while still meeting the needs of the present generation. John R. Ehrenfeld says, Sustainability is the possibility that humans and other life will flourish on the earth forever. Your actions have a huge impact on the environment and collectively we need to protect it. To know whether something is sustainable or not, you need to ask yourself the following question. Can this be done forever? Let's look at an example to help you understand better. Plastic Was introduced in the early 1990s and is produced on a large scale. Some uses of plastic. A bag. A lamp. A Rubik's Cube. CD Straws A ruler And bins And there are many more Plastic takes millions of years to break down. So what happens to all this plastic after we've finished using it? A 
it ends up in a plastic waste pile. Outcome is that space on Earth is taken up by the large amounts of plastic. Now ask, can I do this forever? The answer is no. Plastic is an example of unsustainable consumption. So how can your actions help achieve sustainability? Lifestyle. Remember to carry your own cloth bags when you go to the supermarket. Avoid plastic bags. Fixing. We all love buying new toys, Lego and watches. But when they break, try and fix them. Recycle. Jam jars and biscuit containers. Clothes, towels and bedding. Instead of throwing away, why not cut into washable cleaning rags? Or be a bit more creative and cut your jeans into shorts or design a very own ripped top. Your lifestyle is your choice. So remember, be vocal, act local, think global. Why not start now with an individual project? Write down three things you can do to support sustainability. Brilliant work. Now who's ready for the next learning adventure? Kingsbury Water Park. Who's visited here? For those who haven't, here's a glimpse of its beauty. History of Kingsbury Water Park. Initially, this region was a countryside landscape that didn't change for hundreds of years. Then in the 1930s, it became a mineral extraction site. A lot of minerals were found in the area and were used to help make buildings, bridges and roads. Warwickshire County Council made a plan to turn this landscape into a country park. Thousands of trees were planted on the rotten land, turning quarries into lakes and pools. Twenty fourth of May, nineteen seventy five, the Kingsbury Water Park was opened to the public. Two lakes and one hundred twenty three acres. The first year, it welcomed fifty thousand visitors. 
Now the park has grown to 620 acres with over 30 lakes. Today the water park is a special place for everyone to enjoy, even for my best friend. Education Center In 2002, the center was opened. This facility offers a wide range of outdoor activities. Aimed for Key Stage 2 pupils. In Key Stage 2, habitats are studied. A visit to the water park can allow you to experience different habitats, walk through a meadow full of various species, see the bees buzzing around as they collect pollen. Some areas of the nature reserve cannot be entered by the public as this is where many of the bird species hunt for their food resources used by barn owls, red wing and skylarks. Things like littering or walking in areas you are not supposed to enter can unknowingly destroy a species' main source of food. We as a community must take responsibility to help these species survive for as long as possible. Barn Meadow is an area of success where plant species such as the Southern Marsh Orchid, the Cuckoo Flower, and the meadow cranes bill are growing healthily. Learning point. Sometimes another species can enter the habitat of a current species and disturb its growth. For the future, Kingsbury Water Park have noted to keep an eye for disturbances from alder and birch trees, which may affect the barn meadow area. Spotted. Otters have been seen passing through the water park near the River Tame. Who else have we spotted using Kingsbury Water Park? Dog walkers, cyclists, joggers and many others. List of what makes the water park so unique. Park cafe, diversity, location, education centre and many, many more. Rebuilding of land. In June 2007, the water park was briefly closed to the public, caused by the worst flood, meaning a lot of money was needed to help fix the area. Flooding is a natural disaster which cannot be stopped. But there are actions that can be taken to increase the life of the water park. HLS, Higher Level Stewardship Agreement, introduced in 2012. But what does this mean exactly? Basically, it is a set of instructions that has to be followed by Kingsbury Water Park. For the next Ten years to help achieve a sustainable environment.
There are also groups of countries that come together to talk about how to make the earth a better place to live in. One example of this is UNESCO. This is an organization made up of 195 countries. Its purpose is to help keep peace on earth and achieve security. Irina Bokova, who leads UNESCO, believes their aims to achieve through education, natural sciences, culture, communication and information. So keep in mind that each and every one of you have the power to make a difference. Think about tomorrow's sustainability today. Hope to see you around the water park. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching.